Just one egg, it's super soft and fluffy like cotton. For our recipe we will start by putting a cup of wheat flour inside the bowl. We make a space in the middle of the flour. And we will put 2 teaspoons of biological yeast. And I also put a tablespoon of sugar. Now we mix the dry ingredients. And on the flour side I will put a teaspoon of salt. We mix. And now we add a glass of warm water, remembering that it cannot be hot water because otherwise the yeast does not work. And we mix well. Now we cover it. And let it rest for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes our dough looks like a sponge. After that we will add an egg. And also half a box of condensed milk. Now just mix until this dough is very homogeneous. And now we will add the wheat flour little by little. This process of putting and mixing will greatly facilitate our work of not having to knead. Guys this recipe was successful here at home. Go putting and stirring this dough. Now I will put 2 tablespoons of margarine. And mix this margarine well in the dough. After mixing well we will put more flour until the dough is done. Now we put our hands in the dough. If you saw that it is sticking to your hand you can put more flour. Guys in total I use 600 grams of wheat flour. The point of the dough it does not stick to the hand and also does not get a heavy dough. It is very soft and smooth, and after it gets like this we will put it on the countertop. I put a little more wheat flour just to not stick so people. Let's take this dough and open it and it on the countertop, I recommend opening it in a rectangular shape because when cutting it is more or less all the same size. If you prefer you can do weighing too, mine I weighed on the outside and gave more or less 100 grams each. And after we divide our doughs we will make balls with each one. You can bolear in your hand or do it on the table, whichever you find easier. And after doing this with all the doughs we will knead a round pan. And I will grease it with butter, but if you prefer it can be with oil or margarine. Now let's take our balls and with our hands we will flatten. Once this is done, just put it in the mold. And when you get to the last dough, just give it a little lift to get them all fitted the same way. Now I will cover with plastic and cloth to ensure that it is well covered and heated to double in volume. I will let it rise for about an hour or until it doubles in size. I will not brush anything on top of the loaves. I will already take it to bake in the preheated oven at 180 degrees. And look how our loaves turned out, mine was about 40 minutes. Look how beautiful it was, it grew, it was golden and very soft. As I had used only half of the condensed milk box I took this other part that was left over and wanted to brush on top. But I recommend you brush on top that will give a special touch in our breads. And look we prepared a bread with just one egg that is easy to make and does not even need to be kneaded. I highly recommend you to do it. I guarantee you will not regret it. Now just do it at home and enjoy this delicious recipe. And our recipe is ready guys. Look how delicious. And that was our little recipe today, I hope you enjoyed it. A kiss and until the next video. Bye.